Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the electronic mail. Name denotes email. In that, we will discuss SMTP protocol, POP3 protocol, and IMAP protocol, or are the application layer protocol. Email has been come around at the beginning of the internet. So nowadays, the email is very popular and very utilized application in internet email is a asynchronous communication medium in which the people send and read the message as their conveniency without disturbing other schedule so the previous email is like a text based email nowadays the email is web based email as well as user agent based email nowadays the modern email has many powerful features like the message with attachment in the any email application like gmail or yahoo mail we can see the attachment option attachment facility over here as well as the hyperlink facility to add any url using hyperlink facility the html formatted text facility embedded photo attachment facility which we can include photos audio as well as video so the nowadays the modern email has many facility which helpful the user to compose a email so email it is a very fast easy to distribute and inexpensive rather than a traditional postal mail before going to in detail study let us understand high level view of the internet mail system and its key component in gtu pep exams it can be asked like explain high level view of internet mail system and its key component it has three component first one is user agent second is mail servers and third is simple mail transfer protocol smtp let's understand in detail in this figure the user agent means our local machine use the user agent it allow user to read reply forward save and composing the message for example the microsoft outlook and apple mail as well as mozilla thunderbird it is a recent development application in this figure let's see the mail server after composing from the user agent it send their mail to the sender mail server in mail server it has two component first component is outgoing message queue and second is user mailbox see in this mail server this is the outgoing message queue and this is the mailbox so mailbox contain the incoming message from the user agent and outgoing queue it hold the outgoing message which will be sent to the recipient mail server now we'll discuss about the smtp in smtp it is a simple mail transfer protocol it is a principal application layer protocol between two mail server see between two mail server to send and receive email in smtp it is act as a client as well as server so if smtp server if smtp mail server sending a mail to the other mail server then it act as a client when it receiving mail from the other mail server then it act as a server now let's understand the journey of the message from the user agent a for example user agent a 
to the user agent B. In that, after composing the message, user agent send the message to their mail server. Their sender mail server send a mail to the recipient mail server, and recipient mail server hold that message, and user B agent retrieve that mail from their mail server mailbox and received it their user agent and open and read it so this is the journey of the message let understand in detail about the smtp protocol in smtp protocol it is denoted as a simple mail transfer protocol which is used in sending and receiving email between the mail server smtp mail server use the reliable data transfer services of tcp from sender mail server to the recipient mail server using port number 25 in smtp it restrict the body of the message including the header the whole body message of email to simple 7 bit ascii coding smtp does not use any intermediary mail server for sending an email for example if i am sitting in india and i want to send a mail to the usa then the my mail server send a mail directly to the usa mail server no intermediary mail server use between these two mail server so if in case receiving end mail server in usa is down then the message remain in sending end mail server means in india and wait for a new attempt after some time it re attempt to sending a mail now let's discuss how smtp works in smtp in this example the person named elise and the receiver person is bob so in first step the elise use the user agent to compose a message enter a recipient email id like bob at the rate some school dot edu in second step the elise user agent send this message to her mail server and this message placed in message queue now in third step client side smtp open a tcp connection between elis mail server to the bob mail server c when the tcp connection establish it send a message to the tcp connection using smtp protocol in fourth step the smtp client send elis message over the tcp connection towards the bob mail server at fifth step in server side or bob mail server side it place the message in bob mailbox so the message coming from the tcp connection to the bob mail server after that in sixth step the bob agent retrieve that message from the bob mail server inbox to bob agent and received and read the message let's summarize all these steps first is elis use the user agent to compose the mail 
to the bob email id after that the ali's user agent send that message to her mail server and message place in message queue next one the client side smtp open a tcp connection with bob mail server next smtp client send ali's message over the tcp connection then onwards the bob mail server place this message in bob mailbox at the end the bob agent retrieve that message from bob mail server mailbox and bob received open and read that message in second part of the email we will discuss about the mail access protocol imap and pop3